Hey, what's good, y'all? It's your boy, who is Raphael LaRoe, your resident rapping VTuber here. And today, I wanted to check out a song by A Witch. I really don't know what to expect. This is an artist I have not heard before. It honestly just popped up on my YouTube when I opened up the homepage. And I saw this music video from uh, a minute ago, about, about a year ago, something like that. I wanted to check it out just because I'm, I'm trying to expand my musical range and I'm trying to listen to artists that I've never heard before. So I'm legitimately just clicking on random music videos and I'm just going to be checking them out with y'all. So right now we about to listen to the Bad Bitch Remix by A Witch. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so off off the top, I'm digging the flow. Like there is something just very very smooth about the whole flow on that hook, and the visuals are dope. Okay, so the bars are actually kind of vibing. Like I, I fuck with the bars, but yeah, there is something about the flow. It is so smooth. Like she is writing the beat in such a dope way. I fuck with this. Definitely hearing some Nikki influence in the way that that line, those lines are delivered. Like that whole little frame that da 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 da. Like you can hear the Nikki influence in it, which is kind of dope. <laughs> Okay, so we got some some slant rhymes. She's stretching the word in a way to make it rhyme, which I'm not the biggest fan of. Man, the flow definitely dropped off a lot. Okay, she definitely started to find the beat. Now she's she's finding that that flow. Okay, so the the flow is it's on and off, but it could also be a a cultural thing. For example, like I know a lot of the a lot of the UK grime shit tends to sound a little bit offbeat as compared to stuff you know over here in the states so that could be more of a little bit of a cultural issue so m more so than just a flow issue i'm kind of digging it but yeah it, it definitely it definitely fell off a little bit from the first verse for me I'm a princess, I'm a, I'm a princess. okay we right back to writing it i i fuck with it she came in so mellow and smooth that it, it really did balance out the last verse and low-key kind of helped the previous verse work a little bit better because it's sandwiched in between the two more mellow just kind of vibey style so it works a little bit better in that respect <laughs> okay i was not expecting her to break out and start singing too i really really like that rap verse like as far as lyrics there wasn't really too much meat there but there are certain rap styles where the attitude really carries the track and this is definitely one of those songs where or this was definitely one of those types of verses where the attitude and the delivery is doing all of the heavy lifting and it worked really well <laughs> Yeah, see, the attitude is doing so much work. Okay. Yeah, see, like, her style, I think, I'm the most partial to. Like, she just came out the gate with some dope lines and a perfect mix of, like, the dope lines from the first one, which I'm assuming is A-Witch, and then the previous one 
with the attitude like it is a perfect balance of those two honestly the way that they've structured the song works really well because they are playing to everybody's strengths in the moment <laughs> yeah see she she came with some solid lines and she came in with a really really dope flow and dope style i i gotta say this may be my favorite artist on this track so far <laughs> Okay, okay, she she just came in kind of crazy. I, I need to run that back a little bit. Okay, she just came in hard as fuck. Like, she just demanded attention, and I love that. Okay, she came in on some real shit too. I fuck with this one. I, I spoke too soon. I said the last one was my favorite verse. And she came in and just said, fuck what you was talking about. <laughs> yeah, she came in and just bodied that whole verse i was not expecting that she came in on some real stuff with some fire lines and just the whole approach to her delivery was crazy i fuck with that oh, okay. Okay, so I'm I'm digging her style. She came in with a much more comedic presence. And I, I like that she's not taking herself too seriously. I don't really know much about any of the artists here. But just the, just the presence that she came in with. Like, she is very clearly not the type of artist to just take them hyper serious. Or take themselves hyper serious. Like, she came in cracking jokes with the goddamn... Sonic the Hedgehog <laughs> headpiece, like, <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, I'm I'm digging this verse. I still think the last one completely bodied the track. Should have been the the last verse, unless we got some crazy cooking up. Yeah, I, I think they should have switched these two because the last one definitely bodied it. Okay, so she a comedian. That that makes more sense for like the approach that she came at the song. With. Yeah, this was, this was fire though. I fuck with this. Already, so that was the Bad Bitch remix by A Witch, Nene, Lana, Mari, I, and Yurian Retriever. I am positive I said all of those names fucked up. <laughs> nah, I apologize for that. Uh, but yeah, I, I actually really dig this song. This was a dope little posse cut. I didn't know what to expect. I've never heard any of these artists. I think it was I, the one that came in second to last, that just completely bodied it. Like her, her personality and bars just were crazy. I fucked with everything about that verse. All of these verses were strong. Like there wasn't a weak verse in the track. This was a pretty fun song. Honestly, I don't see myself coming back to it that much aside from those two middle, middle verses because those two went really really hard i'll probably run this back a few times but i don't know if it's going to be a heavy rotation mainly because the production i felt was kind of lacking for a majority of the song like it, it was a very simplistic loop and not much going on in the production nothing really to keep me coming back listening but all in all the song was really dope i fuck with it and i'll probably listen to it a few more times but yeah thank you all for listening to this with me 
thank y'all for checking out this song please if you like the song go check out the video on your own make sure you give a like and subscribe to the artist it helps so much and make sure you give a like and subscribe right here we'll check out some more music later on missing you feels like a song no chorus Right, she square tight. We blind in the airlights. We high, hit a new heights. Breathe out, bit a new life. And we feel the pain of pushing up a castle. Got my baby in the feet like Kylo. And no one finna eat it like a Tylo. Got my shorty so divine like Tylo.